Hi, this is Cheryl with U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Look at all these beautiful cars on this red carpet at Meekum Auctions. Hi, this is Cheryl with U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. And this is Jerry, and he is the owner of this car right here. Mm -hmm. So, Jerry, tell us about your car. Well, this is a 1962 uh, Thunderbird Sports Roadster. Uh, it's a fresh restoration. We just finished it about two months ago. Uh, we've had it on the national show circuit. We've done a few concourse dialogons with it and some ACA events. Never failed to get a first place or best of show. Um, I normally uh, I, I work on these cars uh, almost exclusively, and uh, I'll do one car a year. Uh, this is a really special car because it's the only one known like it. It's silver mink with a red leather interior. Uh, there haven't there hasn't been another one like it <laughs> that's been uh, that's been uh, known to exist. Uh, so uh, you know we're pretty proud of this one, and uh, you know it's thoroughly been gone over concourse restoration, nut and bolt, top to bottom, took it down to bare metal, broke it all down to every uh, every nut and, and uh, bolt on the car. And it's all been restored to as built. So we didn't add anything, we didn't subtract anything. This is the way it would have rolled out of the factory. And do you drive the car? Uh, it's actually got about 10 miles on it since we finished the restoration. So it's had a lot of trailer time. Uh, we haven't had time to drive it. It is roadworthy. Uh, we have, have driven it around the block a few times. But uh, right now we are, we're concentrating on keeping it in as pristine a condition as we can for the next owner. Um, so when this one sells, I'll start another project and that'll take me to the next year. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll have another car here uh, next year at Meekum. So how long have you owned the car? I've owned the car for a couple of years. I actually chased this car for six years. I found out about it uh, about six years ago, seven years ago. Uh, it was in Carmel, California, it belonged to an elderly uh, owner uh, who was planning on restoring the car, but unfortunately his health failed and he, he was unable to finish the job. I wanted to purchase it from the estate, but somebody beat me to it. Well, six years later, I ran into the fellow that did buy it and uh, was discussing the rarity of the car and uh, how worthy it was of a, of a total restoration. Uh, he agreed with me and he asked me if I wanted to buy the car and do it because he, he didn't feel like he could do the restoration justice on the rarity of the car. So uh, I managed to strike a deal with him and uh, I promised him that we would bring the car back uh, to perfection, really, and uh, that's what we've done. And what is your favorite feature on the car? Well, I think uh, the, my favorite is probably the interior, uh, the, uh, the red leather. Uh, we had to have this leather uh, custom tanned because you cannot get the correct red leather uh, made that, that Ford had made. Uh, so uh, we actually had to have the color match to the rest of the red interior and uh, we had the, the leather made and then the seats sewn to the original patterns. Uh, but that's probably my, I, I'm probably most proud of that. It, it took a long time to get the leather made and, and you know get the seats all sewn together. So that's your favorite feature on the I car. I think it is. The red leather is really it's re what really sets this car off and sets it apart from any other car. Very nice. Yeah. And then so tell me about the convertible and how that works. Sure. Yeah. The, uh, well, the convertible top uh, folds back down all the way into the trunk, and the the, uh, the deck lid closes over it, uh, giving it a smooth rear deck. There's no boot or anything visible on it. So it really adds to the smooth lines of the car. And uh, you know, the sports roadster and the Thunderbirds in general, the Bulletbirds, were known for their design. Uh, Very really, nice. Really smooth lines and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's part of it. A lot went into the engineering on these cars. Very nice. Okay, so how many motors make this work? Well, it's actually a combination of electric and hydraulic. Uh, there's a there's a, a motor that late raises the deck, this uh, flipper here on the deck, uh, that's electric, and also there's electric lock motors that lock it down. Uh, there's hydraulics involved with the, the two pistons here, and there's two cylinders underneath here which lower the top. So, all together, uh, with all the wiring and everything, there are actually eight, nine separate relays which uh, work the whole system in sequence. It's pretty complicated. Uh, fortunately, most of the stuff was good on this car, so I just had to rebuild the switches, and, and a lot of the wiring is all original yet to the car. So uh, that didn't take, uh, it didn't take uh, too much uh, in the reproduction parts department or anything like that. Most of what you see is original to the car. Very nice, thank you. So, Jerry, can we take a look at the engine? Oh, sure, definitely. Yeah, this is the, this is the original 390 four-barrel engine. 
Uh, it's original to the car. Of course, it's all been rebuilt. Uh, it's got the uh, three-speed automatic, uh, cruise-o-matic transmission. Uh, this car is, is, has got the air conditioning. Uh, it's a very well-equipped car. So there's uh, a lot of original stuff uh, uh, that was on the car, which really makes it unique from the factory. But uh, everything you see here is bone stock. This is the way that the, the car was built, right down to the, uh, the separate cell battery. And uh, this is as produced. So uh, we didn't add anything or take anything away. This is the way it would have rolled out of the factory. So you do this for a hobby or do you do this for a job? Is there a business involved? I enjoy doing this as a hobby, really. Um, I'll restore one car a year, like I said. Um, and uh, I enjoy the restoration process, putting the parts together, getting the history on the car together, producing, you know, every, reproducing everything as it was originally made from the factory. That's, that's my passion. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, and once I get the finished result here as close to perfection as I possibly can, I'm happy to find the car a new owner and go on and, and start another car because I, I, I really prefer working on them to owning and driving them. Once it gets to this level, I, I hate to get behind the wheel. <laughs> wow, that's very unique. Yeah, so uh, yes. it'll go to a new home and hopefully the new owner will enjoy it and drive it and, uh, and I'll be working on another car for next year. So Jerry, I see the car has a lot of chrome and stainless on it. Mm -hmm. You bet. So, so tell me about that. Yeah, well the, the bumpers are original to the car. Those have been, been replated. Uh, as far as the rest of the trim, the, uh, the stainless moldings on, on the sides, uh, that's mostly original to the car uh, and I, I work on that myself. I straighten it, buff it, polish it, and uh, get it all back to perfect condition. So uh, what you see is, is mostly what was on the car to begin with, but it's all been hand restored. It's very time consuming to take all the little dents out and then, uh, and then it has to be sanded with, with uh, uh, lighter and lighter sandpaper to the point where it's ready to buff and then there's a several buffing stages as well uh, to bring it to the chrome-like finish that you see here. Beautiful wheels. Oh, thank you. Yeah, those are original Kelsey Hayes 48 spoke wheels. That's what came on the Roadster. Of course, this car is a sports Roadster, so it's got the Roadster package which consisted of the Kelsey Hayes 48 spoke wheels, uh, the tonneau cover over the rear seats, there's a grab bar on the windshield, uh, on, the, on the dashboard under the windshield, and uh, also the emblems uh, on the quarters. Those are uh, part of the Roadster package. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, this is so nice. It's so beautiful to sit in a nicely, perfectly restored con convertible Thunderbird. The steering wheel even moves over. Very unique. Okay, you ready? Okay, yes. All right, here we go. Thank you. Wow. Look at this roof. Is that cool? car absolutely gorgeous you did a fantastic job Jerry well thank you thank you thank you for the fantastic interview Jerry and is there other ways that people can get a hold of you and what you do in this restoration business well my name is Jerry McGain M-A-G-A-Y-N-E I'm on Facebook if anybody wants to reach out if they need any pointers or any advice on restoring one of these cars I'm, I'm happy to help uh, my full-time job is the clockworks. I, I restore antique uh, and the classic automotive clocks. That's my main business. Uh, that's uh, my website is clockwks.com. C l o c k w k s dot com, uh, and that's uh, that's my full-time time business. So if anybody wants to reach out, and, uh, you're welcome to. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Wow, what a great video with Jerry. Did you see that top go down? I was sitting in the driver's seat when that happened. That was so awesome. Thank you for watching our video on this beautiful Thunderbird that's been restored. Wow, that was a great video for US Classic Muscle Cars. If you like what you see, please support us on our GoFundMe page and our Patreon 
website. Thank you.